Hello my sweet friends, I am looking forward to today's video. I am looking forward to spending some time with you and sharing some cleaning motivation as well as decluttering in today's video. This is also going to be a chatty video. I don't always do those, but today I have a lot to say. I am looking forward to having this time with you. So whether you're cleaning with me or sitting back and relaxing, let's get started. I'm going to start off by using my Dreamy L10 Ultra. This is a very sophisticated robot vacuum and mop. This is my new best friend because I am able to set it and forget it and work on other things in my house while this takes care of the vacuuming and the mopping. It has reservoirs for both clean and dirty water as well as a floor cleaning solution. It has a removable base plate that deep cleans the mop against the grooves and dries them with hot air to prevent any odor, mildew, and bacterial growth. The mop also rises while returning to the base station to prevent any cross pollution. I've also enjoyed being able to create multiple maps for my home, creating segment rooms, set no-go zones, virtual walls, and create a cleaning schedule that works for me. I'm able to clean remotely using Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant. It also, it offers a remote video supervision to make sure the automatic cleaning is even more hands-free. The advanced AI powered navigation, fast maps, learns and tailors ideal cleaning strategies. The RGB camera captures the environment to help the AI recognize different household obstacles. This has been my best friend because I'm able to set it whenever I need the house clean. I can leave, I can start it with my own phone, I can use Siri, it doesn't matter and this gets it going. I like setting this at 9 o'clock every single night when everyone's in bed until I wake up to a clean house. Definitely make sure to check my description box if you are interested in something like this. This will make your life so much easier and I know you will enjoy it as much as I have. Heading into the kitchen, I'm gonna fill up the dishwasher. I don't have a ton of dishes today, thankfully, but we are gonna load up this dishwasher so I can wipe down the countertops and get the rest of the house taken care of. So usually when I am cleaning the kitchen, I will bring all the dishes over by the sink. Today I did not do that, but especially in the evening, that is a little trick. If you don't do that, bring everything around you, even the stuff that is behind you or on the stove, bring it in front of you. Because for me, there is nothing worse than thinking I'm done and then turning around and having the stove with a whole bunch of pots and mess. So that's just something that helps me out a bunch. One day I would love to have a pantry where we have cabinets in there and then even like a little countertop where we can have the espresso machine and the fryer, air fryer in there all the time because loading this thing up on the counter and back down every single day drives me nuts. Now you might be thinking, why don't you just leave it on the counter? Well, because I cannot handle the clutter and the mess. So, you know, I guess I just make it hard on myself, <laughs> but I will usually have the kids put it away when they're done. That is the the rule, you use it, you put it away. This little towel that I'm using, I actually got a pack of two from Target. They are reusable paper towels and they are antimicrobial and all the things and I love them. And to clean them, I will throw them in the wash or I will just actually put them in the dishwasher and it has been awesome. I, I highly recommend them. Again, I got them from Target. And then there is my sweet Hazel Girl just begging to come in. I have the kids outside playing in a little splash pad we got from Ollie's incredible and uh, they are wrestling as you see so now I'm gonna let my sweet girl in I 
I've mentioned wanting to use the products that I have and then get to the all natural, excuse me, all natural route afterwards. So let me know if you have granite or stone, what do you use on your countertops? Now I'm taking these items here and I'm gonna put them in the wash and I'm gonna treat the dog bed cover. So I was grooming Ruby and while I was clipping her nails, this has never happened, please don't come for me. I was mortified and I cried. I accidentally clipped too short. Now her nails are incredibly long. She does not let anyone touch her paws. So it is always a struggle. So when I was clipping, I got really, really low. But once I started to clamp down, she jerked for, like away from me and the clipper hit too far so which was crazy because I hardly took any off but I guess when their nails get that long you have to be really careful so I'm using peroxide I've learned this from my home birth days when you have blood or any bodily type fluids especially blood um, peroxide works in cold water I've got this beach days laundry fragrance I don't remember where I found this but it's supposed to be like a good option and it makes your towels and clothes and bedding and everything smell really really good for a longer amount of time and then I've got two pumps of my Piracy I talked about that in my last video okay full transparency I'm done my attitude stinks today I'm not feeling very optimistic or very full of energy to go and clean I don't want to anymore I have a little robot vacuum doing its thing, which is nice. I've tackled some of the things that needed to be done, like straightening up the kitchen, wiping down the counters, and starting that little laundry because those clothes were funky. But uh, I think my husband can tell that my attitude kind of stinks. So he's like, are you going to the gym today? And I thought, no, I think I just need to walk in the garage because some days you just don't wake up feeling your best. And the only thing I have to help with that is basically exercising so that's what I'm gonna go do and I'm thankful he can take her upstairs for a minute and do that while I regain my composure because I don't want to take out my bad mood on my family that's never my intention and honestly I really don't very often but I could feel like I just could not get motivated to clean so you're gonna see another outfit in just a minute I'm gonna go in there and clean or excuse me I'm gonna go in there and work out actually I'm just gonna go walk but when you see the different outfit. I just wanted to come on here because I feel like you don't really know what goes behind the scenes. Like most of us will just turn the camera off and then we just continue on and we just keep going on with the narrative and it's fine. But I don't think many of us come on here and say, guess what, my attitude stinks today. So I'm gonna stop this portion. I'm gonna go get myself in order and I'll see you tomorrow. And that's what I'm gonna do because I know that if you're on this planet, you probably have bad days too. So. My encouragement to you is if you're having a bad day, don't force it. I mean, yes, I, I did the things that I needed to do. I did the essentials that I needed to do. I don't have the energy or motivation to do the extras. So I'm going to take some time for myself to get in the right headspace, um, and then make some dinner, and then I'm going to pick up tomorrow. I'm going to prepare myself for a better day tomorrow. Some days we have to do that. Some days we just have to show up and do our best and then hope you know do our best and just i don't know i was trying to get something around but it ain't working so okay we're going to do more cleaning tomorrow my hands really stink from the dog bed i have to go wash them and i just want to encourage you if you have bad days like me stop what you're doing go take a walk go do something because some days just are not it and today is that for me i have a headache so, you're human i'm human we'll figure this out together There's your little bit of encouragement from Noah. My older kids don't care about getting on screen, but Noah still does, so I let him. I always try to respect their privacy when it comes to that. Um, but I am gonna use this little acrylic glass thingamajigger. Yes, that's the official name. Um, I saw this on Instagram, and I, I think it was Tiffany that was sharing this, and then I think Sweet pink home or pump, I can't remember the name um, she was also sharing this so I went on to Amazon and got it because I love it and we usually always need to write notes somewhere and this is amazing and it has magnets and I'm probably gonna get another one so I've got my list here because when I was walking 
and letting out some steam, I guess you would say, or letting off steam out, off, I don't know. While I was walking, I was getting into a really fantastic headspace. I was feeling really, really good and the endorphins were kicking in and I was starting to realize the things that needed to be taken care of. So as soon as I came in, that's when I started writing. Now it is the next day and I am trying to make it a better day. So I'm going to tackle some of the items that are listed on the refrigerator. First, starting off with the windows because they look horrible. Let me just tell you, writing things and checking it off the list makes me feel so good. And I think it is scientifically proven. If it is, I think it is. Let me try to find some proof and I'll put it across the screen. But write things down, even things you've already done, like get up, make coffee, or, you know, change the baby. I don't know. You write it down and check it off and it gives you so much motivation and it encourages you to keep on going. So I'm taking care of these sliders because they look horrible and I'm going to first use a little vacuum here and get all of the loose debris and hair and dirt and then I've got some soap on this little brush here but it wasn't quite it wasn't quite doing it for me so I will have to end up really getting in there with the paper towel and just getting some of this dirt and stuff out of here because it was so gross. I will try to put a link down and I always say try because I'm not the greatest with links um, I will try to put something down if you guys are interested in this glass um, this plexiglass board it comes with markers and I personally love the markers that it comes with um, they're very bright and they wipe right off so it's been great and Emma approves While washing the windows, I noticed the majority of the mess was actually on the other side. So I'm hosing it down as well as hosing the porch down because Ruby made a mess out here. And I am wiping everything with the Dawn spray wash and the little scrub daddy, just getting it all off. And it works like a charm. And my kids are having a great time just being kids, which is my favorite thing, just watching them have fun. Yes, that was in fact a inflatable Olaf. Emma was not having the greatest day, so I said, do you want to see Olaf? And she said, yes. So <laughs> you do what you got to do. Now I am moving to her little basket here, which I got this basket at Home Goods. It still has a tag on it because I do not know why I never take off tags. I don't know why I do that. But I'm taking care of the toys in here. I've got this basket and I'm just going to start filling it up with things that I know that needs to be donated or just really honestly taken out of the basket. That's the first step. And then I've got this cart here. This is her activity cart. I've used this for her diapers when she was first born. I've used it for my nails. Now I'm using it for her activity cart and it's got little sections in there as you can see. And this has been amazing to just kind of cart around and then she can go get the things that she wants and then we can have fun and play together. So I just wanted to remind you guys, if you are enjoying today's video, would you please consider subscribing, 
hitting that like button. Today is a shorter video than usual. Usually they are well over 30 something minutes, almost 40, but you know, we still got a ton of cleaning motivation and I just love spending the day with you. I wanted to show you really quick um, the stain completely came out. Peroxide is the way to go with anything like that. Cold water, if you can do that immediately, that actually sat on there for a while. Um, I just kind of flipped it over because out of sight, out of mind. And so it was about a week old and it came off out great. Always keep some peroxide, which I heard peroxide is really not good for you to put on your body. So it's great here and it's great for cleaning. And then I did all of these and I have more clothes in there. So truth be told, oh girl, looking rough. Um, I could not find the motivation anywhere, anywhere. Some days, some weeks, we are on it, y'all. On it. Ow. <laughs> on it. Like you're going to be on the Kleenex box. Try this. Okay. Some weeks we're on it, and then others we're just not and this week so like I said some weeks we're on it and other weeks we're not this is an off week I don't know it felt like I couldn't get enough sleep I felt like it didn't matter how much coffee I drank I, I just felt run down and exhausted she just this is a game we play this is a game we play so um I kept trying to like like I will often say like my brain doesn't work sometimes and it doesn't, it's like, it's like I can, it's like I don't see what I need to see to take care of, if that makes any sort of sense. So I wrote it down on the board and I tackled those items, but there's a lot. I feel like my brain is just not working this week and it's really frustrating. Um, I haven't struggled with this much lack of motivation in quite a while. Although when motivation runs out, that's when discipline kicks in and I'm having trouble with that as well. So I don't know what's going on, but um, I know I've been doing really well for a while. So I'm going to allow myself to just chill talking to our friends. Just wait one second. Can you go get your pajamas and mommy can put your pajamas on? No. Um, when motivation runs out, which motivation is junk, Mel Robbins says it, it's so true. When that runs out, you have discipline. And I have been nailing it with the discipline. I've been going to the gym consistently six times a week. I've been doing better with my eating. I actually really don't really eat bad at all. I eat way better than I did back in the day and I have more trouble with my weight now. Hello 40. Um, but I have just been knocking it out and I've been feeling so thankful, but this week I'm just low. I just don't know. So as much as I would love, I've seen messages. The reason why I'm doing this is not to give you like a full rundown of my week. I've seen messages like, oh, I wish I could have energy like you or wow, where do you get that energy? Please remember if you see anybody coming on here crushing it, doing all the dang things, meal prepping and party planning and cleaning their whole house and decluttering like a mother. Just know you're getting snippets. You're literally getting snippets. You ask any of those people, they have down days. They have lots of down days, but usually when the camera comes on, they suck it up and they push through. Well, I do that a lot, but sometimes it's like, hey y'all, <laughs> I'm about to put out a shorter video today because I don't really got it in me. Sometimes you gotta lay low and make it happen again. Like I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna scroll on my phone. I'm gonna I'm gonna you okay? I like it. You don't like it? Give me kisses. Okay, no kisses. Um, I'm gonna go to try to go to bed early. That's what I do. When I have days like this, I literally I'm like, I'm just gonna go to bed and hope for a better day tomorrow. And if it doesn't happen, like to this morning, I really just felt like I was out of it. It was weird. It was really weird. I had a cup of coffee, 10 ounces of regular that I had like four or six ounces of a half calf. That didn't do it. So I was like, we got to get out of the house. I went to go get lunch. Um, 
and I go to Sunny's. I just get French fries and sliced turkey. Emma eats the fries. I eat the turkey. Um, I do. I am gonna get me a fryer too. <laughs> Don't, let's not even stop and pretend like we're not. Fries are my thing. Um, anyway, and then I did splurge and get a Starbucks, which I haven't been doing that at all. And it made me feel better. Then I had a pulmonology appointment, which I could be dreading. What? Here, baby. This thing really works, by the way. It's called a sinusotic. I bought it myself. It was from an ad on Instagram. I bought it myself. It was like 40, I think it was 60, 40 or $60. You do this. I can't show you Emma because she's just running around here free as a bird. But you do this. And you do that until it goes off. It turns off on its own. You have to do it for a minimum of four, 14 days. And you do notice that for me, I've had surgery in my sinuses. This stuff was just draining like nobody's business. It was great. And it kept it flowing. Really, really worth it, I, in my opinion. I'll see if I can find a link. But you guys know I stink at the link. That right. I stink at links. A thing of links. What am I even doing here? I don't even know how to do this. I don't come here with like full face of makeup. My, and I'm a hot mess. Whatever. I don't know how to be anything else. I just don't. But um, so I had a pulmonology appointment, which is great because my ass has been crazy for years. Finally, I have appointment anxiety. I was finally like, I gotta go. I just gotta go. Fall there. Y'all. Toddlers are no joke. I have forgotten. Hey, can you can you please? What do you need from mommy right now? Tell me what you need, and I can help you. Tell mama what you need. Hold hold your hand. Well, okay, I can't do that just yet. Let me say goodbye to our friends. And then I'll hold your hand. Can you wait? Bye bye. Bye. Say bye. Emma, 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 how old are you gonna be? See, so it just went off. Tell, tell everybody, tell our friends, how old are you gonna be? One. How old? How old is this? No, two. Great. And do you wanna have a Nemo party or a mini party? Do you wanna have a frozen party or a mini party? Mini. Okay, you wanna have a mini party? Or a hmm unicorn party. Um, party. You want a unicorn party or a mini party? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse party. So guess who's gonna have? I really didn't want to do it because I was like everybody does it. Mickey. But we're gonna have a oh turtles. <laughs> pretty animated. Okay, anyway. I have some news to share with you. Uh, next week or the week after I have some news to share with you guys. Yep, it's pretty big. It's pretty big news. I don't even know how to share it with you, but uh, I have some news to share, so. I already said it in one of my other videos, but I'll tell you guys. In two weeks. Mickey Mouse party. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. And mommy gonna make you a cake? I make all my kids cakes, but I don't I don't do like really cute cakes. My cakes are straight up a 13 by 9 baking dish. Yes, they are. I may throw a sprinkle in it and a candle on it. That's about it. We do we do very simple birthdays. First birthday, we go all out. We, we, we go all out. Second part after that, we always say, not when they're like little. So, you want cake? Once they understand, we'll tell them like, okay, you can have a big birthday, we give them a budget. Or you can have that and the amount of presents. And then they say, can we do both? And we say no. Because when you have this many kids, I don't care if you have one kid. Stuff is expensive. And Chris, it is not Christmas four times a year. When you've got Easter, back to school, um, folks be doing like Valentine's Day gifts and St. Patrick's Day gifts. Y'all know. I love my kids. But they better be thankful for some toilet paper. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. 
So we tell them money or, uh, you know, gifts or party. And they usually, Josiah did a party one year. And then we do, we of course got them some gifts as well, but we don't go crazy. Uh, but for her, we just invite family over. We don't do a big deal. I mean, we do a big deal. But I'm saying I don't do like full on parties. And like, I'll just decorate the house and the cake. And then we'll have like the in-laws come over and my parents come over and the, the aunts and uncles and cousins and that's it. So, um, but I have something to tell y'all. I can't tell y'all until the first week of May. Okay, I'm also putting out a video. Of Mickey Mouse party. I also have been wanting to do a video. Sorry for my shirt. I can't get over it. Um, it's like how many things that I don't buy because we've been decluttering so much. We've been decluttering so much. I decided to make a video about the things that I no longer buy through this process. And I've seen other people do it. And they're really cute. So I figured why not. That'll be out on Tuesday. Okay. Go tell Josiah Mickey Mouse. I'm going to go because she needs me and that's my priority and i love y'all so much make sure you're subscribed hit the like button tuesday is what i don't buy anymore next thursday is going to be a clean with me and then i love y'all i hope that y'all know how loved you are and i hope that you know that i don't care what happens in my life you mean so much to me and i'm so thankful for you for you for you right there um, just watching this video is a blessing and I'm just thankful that you've allowed me into your home and into your heart and I'd love for you to consider subscribing and my goals, I'm, I'm reaching my goals and I'm so thankful and that's not because of me, that's, that has nothing to do with me, that has to do with you. So thank you for helping me feel worthy and loved and important and like I'm doing something important. So I love y'all. Let me go love on this little love bug. Bye guys. Okay Emma, say bye bye. Bye.